Two people are rescued from a lake in Anderson. Thankfully, the man and juvenile are both okay with the heat we're seeing right now. We know a lot of people will be out on the water again this coming weekend. Fox 59's Lindsay Eaton has the warning from officials. This is video from Rangeline Nature Preserve in Anderson. Crews were called out Tuesday evening just before 7 o'clock for a water rescue. The water's high, the current's fast. And it doesn't take long for a day on the water to turn into a dangerous situation. This can sweep down really quickly. Officials tell us a juvenile was in a kayak and fell out. The man he was with was on shore and saw that boy in distress. He called 911 and then he went into the water to try to help. When crews got here, they were both still in the water, both struggling, and both needed to be rescued. Well, they both were treading water when they showed up. Within 20 minutes, crews had both victims in the boat and making their way safely to shore. The boy was taken to the hospital just to be checked out. There's always a chance, you know, to go the other way and be a recovery, and especially trying to locate them on the water. Um, again, we was able to locate them fast and get them, you know, to safety. Anderson Fire Chief Dave Cravens knows with this hot weather continuing through the weekend, people are going to be on the water, and he is warning everyone to be extra careful. You want to be aware of your surroundings. Like I said, you usually want to swim with two people, have two kayaks, and like I said, an oar, a safety rope, a whistle, so people can locate you. These two people rescued were not wearing life jackets. Chief Cravens is reminding everyone to wear a life jacket no matter how good of a swimmer you think you are. You always want to have a life jacket make sure it fits correctly. If you ever do get swept down the river, you want to make sure you have your legs up and hands out. Crews will be on standby during this heat wave, hoping if they're cold out, it ends just like this one did. Very relieved, very thankful. In Anderson, Lindsay Eaton, Fox 59 News. Okay, Lindsay, thank you. There were multiple agencies involved in this rescue, including the Madison County Sheriff's Office and Indiana DNR, all calling it a team effort.